Good morning, Christ Church and other friends from away. This is daily devotion for individuals and families in the morning. And if you have a prayer book, the Book of Common Prayer, um, you can follow along on page 137. 137. It is Thursday, November 4th. And we'll be kind of going back and forth a little bit from the morning, regular morning prayer, but mostly it's going to be daily devotions. Apart from, I'm going to read the, the gospel appointed for today and some other prayers. So let's get started. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The gospel reading appointed for today comes from Matthew's gospel, the 14th chapter, starting at verse 1. At that time, Herod the ruler heard reports about Jesus, and he said to his servants, this is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead, and for this reason, these powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his, brother's, his brother Philip's wife because John had been telling him it's not lawful for you to have her. Though Herod wanted to put him to death, he feared the crowd because they regarded him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and she pleased Herod so much that he promised on oath to grant her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. The king was grieved, yet out of regard uh, for his oaths and for his guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John, the, had John beheaded in prison. The head was brought on a platter and given to the girl who brought it to her mother. The disciples came and took the body and buried it. And then they went and told Jesus the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let's read the Apostles' Creed. You can find it on page 96, page 96 of the prayer book. Let me find it. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
I would invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. This would be a good time to pause the uh, um, recording and you can pray for your family and friends. We continue our prayers as always for those who have been affected by COVID and those who take care of them and pray for the people of Christ Church, for the people of this community, Bonnaby de Beach. Pray always for our parishioners and for our staff and clergy team. And I pray for the um, those of you who are not a member of Christ Church here tuning in from away. We're really glad that you're uh, with us. So we pray for you as well, wherever you may be. And we pray for, well, we just had our service of all souls. And so we prayed for those of our family and friends who have gone on this year to the Nearer pre the, nor the nearer presence of our Lord. Um, it was a, a beautiful service. And now we continue with the collect of the day, which comes from last Sunday. And it goes like this. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And we pray for the mission of the church. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, we receive, I'm sorry, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before, before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And in the world cycle of prayer, we pray for the people of Moldova, Moldova, in um, the former uh, Soviet Union, and in the ecumenical cycle of prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers the members of the African Inland Church of South Sudan and Sudan. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now let's say together the Lord's Prayer. If you, I'm sure you know it, but it's on, if you need to follow along, it's on page 97. 97. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And our Concluding collect on page 137. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning, and I hope you have a lovely day, and I'm looking forward to, to seeing you at church, either in person or online.
Have a great day. Bye-bye.